Good day. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the Investigrams charts. So in the charts, you're going to see two basic information. First is the price movement through these candles. We will be able to see what's happening in the price movement. So with the green candle, it shows a positive day. And on the red candle, it means that the stock closed on the red or a negative day. Then at the bottom part of the chart, you can see the volume. So this is the volume. This is the number of shares being traded. So it is also color coded depending on how the price closes. Now, the first part in a chart is you can add your indicators. So when you right click, you can insert any indicator that you want. So for example, you want to add a moving average. So this is one of the most common indicators being used by traders. So you could just change the setting of your indicator. So most indicators would have their length or the time frame in them. So it de totally depends on what kind of trader are you or what time periods do you want to monitor. So for example, if we want to have a medium term moving average or we want to monitor the medium term trend, we could shift to moving average 50. And then you could change your the colors and the design of your charts. So you could customize here, change the line structures and all of this. And make it make it more bold like that. Okay. So now now we've placed our first indicator the moving average now you could add more indicators depending on your strategy so most of the most relevant indicators in financial markets is already here so example you want to use the macd so you could just add the macd and it's going to be at the bottom part of your chart all right now now, if you want to save your chart indicators, your settings, or where you last picked off, you can just click here on the cloud at the top right and just click the button. Then it's going to save your chart. So if you haven't saved any chart yet, you're going to be asked to name your particular chart. Okay. And then now, another thing that most traders use in the charts is to do drawings so we can draw trend lines so at the first icon here you could use different drawing tools from rays trend lines angles arrows and different things so the main idea behind a trend line is you could have a visual indication of the trend so right here we've seen that the stock is able to hold at this trajectory up until this point so here we're gonna draw a box right there so when you put in objects you could modify the colors it's the same thing so you could change the colors like that and then they make the the edges more defined so all of these shapes are customizable so so if you want to draw the shapes just go to the third button on the left part so you could draw circles curves arcs and all of that depending on what you need to visualize okay now if you are somehow lost example you can track back in the charts so if you're somehow lost and you want to go back to the most recent period you could just right click and then click Re reset charts so this will bring you to the most recent page and the default view okay and now in investigrams we created more high value tools so if you're monitoring the philippine stock exchange you could have the ticker at the top right here so this is the ticker where you can see the live trades though this is not available in all markets and then you could even change your market depending on where you're from what markets you want to monitor and then the system will just adapt accordingly now onto our watcher so the invest the watcher here 
this is our watch list where you could input the stocks that you want to monitor. So example, let's say I want to monitor Apple. So what I see in Apple, just input the name, the stock. And then let's say I want to buy Apple if it breaks out of the 230 area. Then my cut loss on this trade would be 215 below. And then a target would be 250. So if you're able to put these parameters, if you already have a trading plan, you could just put the put your entry, cut loss, then target price in the watcher and then our system will automatically calculate your risk reward ratio and our suggested port allocation so when you add that apple is going to be in your watch list here and then when the system when the price moves into your direction whether it's your entry point your cut loss or your target price you're going to be alerted so that's the investor watcher. And now, besides this, you could also practice virtual trading. So in the charts, we already we also have virtual trading. So you see the buy and sell button here. Just click the buy button. Then you're going to be brought to the stock that you're looking at. Then you can choose where you want to buy the stock. Example, investor trading cup then you could input the price where you want to buy it. Let's say I want to buy Ayala Land at 48. Then I want to buy, let's say, 100 shares just for a test buy. And then once the order, once you click confirm, the order will be accepted and it will be under your pending orders. So you can just check out your virtual portfolio in this button. And on the more detailed side, we also have the bull and bear meter. So the bull and bear meter gives you an indication, a gauge of how the bid and ask is. So what is the bid and ask? You could see here, this is the quotation board of the stock. So we can see here the top buyers and the top sellers, and this goes all the way to the bottom. And then the, the bull and bear meter just analyzes which side is stronger. Is it the, the bids or the, the sellers? And then it's not just on the latest trading date that you can check the, the bull and bear meter. You could also make it based on the last five days trading transaction. So example, instead of just calculating, instead of just calculating the bid and ask, the bull and bear meter will calculate based on the actual transaction. So who's winning? Is it the buyers? Is it, do we have more buy ups or is the market selling down more? You can also see broker transactions here. And then if you wanna have a, a list of all the stocks, quick view example, you wanna see which stocks are going down. Then the mark, you could sort it on the columns here could change it on the positive gainers or the, the most losers so it's easy to scroll down on the stocks you don't have to go at them alphabetically so you just press the down button and you're gonna see which stocks are moving in the market so here we see SLI Del Monte then we just go down press the down button and you can do fast scrolling and then if you find any stock that's interesting example this stock you could click the i button here and add it to your watcher groups so i can add it to the alerts and then when i go to the watcher you can see the del monte stock here and then i can just input my parameters once again now we have more basic information here like most active top gainers top losers and then another thing is if you want to find the news on your specific stock, then you could just click on the news tab here. So news and disclosures are already combined. So example, this stock gave out a cash dividend, then we could see the announcement here. And then for those who are using 
screeners, our Investa screener. We've, we've also integrated one of our premium features in the app, the Investa screener. So example, you have a parameter. You want to find which stocks are at the 52 week high. So let's let's check it out if there are any. So we're filtered and given six stock lists and then you could instantly just scroll among them and see which stocks you want to buy. So you can see that most of these stocks are illiquid or either preferred shares. So in the regular stocks, there's not much. OK, so you could easily integrate the screeners and have it easily viewed in your charts. And then lastly is your portfolio. So for your different virtual trading accounts, whether it's your practice portfolio or your trading competition portfolio, you could easily view your stocks on the portfolio view here at the lower right button. So it's an easy way to monitor your stocks. And then from here, if you wanna, if you wanna make a trade, then you could just, again, click the buy and sell button. All right, so that's it for our first tutorial on the Investagram's charts.